Hey guys, it's Mike Stein, and today I got a review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. This is the newest successor of the last surviving species in the Android tablet family. With the iPad Pro dominating the market for Apple users, you might be wondering if the Tab S6 is good enough to compete and compelling enough to buy. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of getting an Android tablet like this and if it's actually even worth it. So go ahead and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's get right into the video. The Galaxy Tab S6 is Samsung's latest attempt at a device that can be used for both content consumption and productivity. It's running the latest version of Android, but it does look a lot like a massive Samsung smartphone as it shares the same UI. For specs, you get a Snapdragon 855 processor, 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. It has up to 256 gigabytes of storage, plus support for micro SD card slots for expansion. This review unit here is the base model with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage and I haven't had any issues with performance, even while multitasking and switching between apps at the same time. So let's talk about the build quality. Samsung makes some of the best hardware in any mobile device, and because it's a flagship, the Tab S6 is no exception. It's all metal and glass here, and it's easy and comfortable to hold for long periods of time. The display here is a 10.5 inch OLED display. The screen is really good to look at. The colors just pop, blacks are inky deep, just like any other Samsung flagship phone out there and it gets bright enough to use outdoors. It's a great screen for watching movies or YouTube videos, and it has enough pixels on that panel for images to just look sharp, even at a comfortable viewing distance. It's basically the same pixel density as the iPad Pro, but I will say the curved edges on the iPad Pro just look a little bit better. The only thing I don't like about this display is the fingerprint scanner built into it. Just like the Galaxy Note 10, the Tab S6 has a fingerprint scanner right underneath the screen. Samsung is using an optical scanner here as opposed to the ultrasonic scanner found in their phones. Now, I don't want to turn this into an Apple versus Samsung comparison, but we can all agree the Face ID on the iPad Pro is much faster and much more reliable than the in-display fingerprint reader on the Tab S6. It's sometimes slow and unreliable, and if you have the blue light filter turned on in the dark, it might not even work at all. But of course, if you don't want to use this, you can always go back to the good old password. Kind of sucks, but it helps to reduce the cost of this device as the ultrasonic scanner might add a few bucks on the price tag. At least what this tablet doesn't disappoint is in the speaker setup. There's four Adobe Atmos enabled speakers around the device and they sound really great. Actually, even better than the iPad Pro. Unfortunately, there's no headphone jack, so you're gonna have to use Bluetooth headphones, but that's apparently the future with these devices and we just have to accept that it's not coming back. There's a dual camera setup at the back with a standard camera and an ultra wide lens. For some reason, there's no LED flash, which is something you absolutely need for taking photos in the dark, but it's really not made for taking pictures, so it doesn't really bother me. For battery life, the Tab S6 is definitely gonna last all day, even if I'm constantly on it with productivity apps and gaming and watching movies all day long. Samsung includes an S Pen in the box with the Tab S6, and it's very similar to the S Pen that comes with the Galaxy Note line of smartphones. It's a bit thicker and doesn't have a little pocket inside the device like the phones offer, but it has the same features and capabilities you're going to find on the smartphones. To charge the pen, you attach it to the back of the tablet via magnets, and it charges wirelessly, just like how the iPad Pro charges the Apple Pencil. But just like the iPad Pro, the Tab S6 doesn't come with a keyboard in the box. The optional keyboard folio case for the Tab S6 is going to cost about $180, which pushes the overall price for the tablet and the keyboard combo up to $830. The keyboard attaches to the tablet via magnets and a pogo pin connector. Unfortunately, there's no Bluetooth pairing here, and it's actually separate from the back cover and the kickstand that sticks to the back of the tablet. This design lets you prop the tablet up for viewing videos without requiring the keyboard to be right in front of you, which is something you can't do with Apple's smart keyboard for the iPad Pro. It's surprisingly easy to adjust to typing on this keyboard, even though it has a smaller layout than a standard keyboard. There's some function keys at the top, and the Tab S6 supports a variety of keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard doesn't have a backlight though, but most tablets like this don't have backlight class on the keyboard either, so if you really want this feature, you might want to look at getting a proper laptop. For me, this is a very important feature because I love to use my devices at night, so I'm not going to be using that keyboard as much as I want to. For software, the Tab S6 runs basically the same software as Samsung's smartphones, Android 9 Pie with Samsung's One UI interface on top. It has all of the same features you might be familiar with if you already use a recent Samsung smartphone, and yes, it does have big speed. I don't really have a problem with the software for basic content consumption, like watching Netflix and stuff, but if you're not a fan of Samsung's One UI, you're not going to like the software on this device so much. So the Tab S6 is a really great tablet for getting a little work done, doing some movie watching, and of course, gaming. If that's about all you want from a tablet, then the Tab S6 is excellent for that. The problem with it is this just doesn't impress in any of these areas. The iPad Pro, on the other hand, with Apple's iPad OS is now so good 
that it's actually good enough to use as an everyday productivity machine. Sure, you might get a slightly better display and better speakers with Samsung's tablet, but it's all up to you if it's worth sacrificing over actual usability. Essentially, the Samsung Tab S6 is a great choice for media consumption and maybe a little gaming and typing documents for work. It has a great display, premium build, and pretty familiar software that's easy to use and has the bare necessities you're gonna need. But if you wanna do more stuff like video editing and Photoshop and graphic design and other more intensive work, you might want to look at the iPad Pro. I have links below in the description so you can pick up any of these devices on Amazon right now. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss next week's video. Leave a comment below if you have any video requests for me as always and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.